Hi boys and girls. For today's math lesson, we are going to talk about shapes. And these shapes might look familiar to you and some shapes might not look familiar to, to you. And that's okay because we are going to go dive in right into these shapes and talk about each shape we have on this board. Now, we are going to talk about the first shape and this first shape is called a square. Very good. This one's an easy one. Circle. Triangle. Rectangle. Okay, now here, this might get a little tricky now. Does anybody know what shape this is called? Hexagon. Can you guys say hexagon? Very good. Hexagon. Now, does anybody know what this shape is? It's called a trapezoid. Can you say trapezoid? Awesome. And the last shape is called a rhombus. Some of you might call it a diamond and that's okay. It's the same thing. But over here, we're going to call it rhombus. Can you say rhombus? Awesome. Okay, so we have a square, circle, triangle, rectangle, hexagon, trapezoid, and a rhombus. Okay, now we are going to talk about how many sides does each shape have? Now let's talk about the square. Can you guys count with me how many shapes, I mean how many sides does a square have? Can you guys count with me? Ready? One, two, three, four. It's got four sides. I'm gonna write four right here. I'm gonna circle the number. Now, how many sides does a circle have? No sides, okay? Now, the sides and shapes are very sharp. They have, they have sharp sides. Now, do you, guys, do, you, do you guys see any sharp sides in a circle? No, it's just round, no sides. So we're going to do zero. The next shape is triangle. Can you guys count how many sides a triangle has? Ready? One, two, three. Very good. What if I turn this triangle upside down like this? Does it still have three sides? Let's see. One, two, three. It still has three sides. So if a triangle is turned upside down, it's still a triangle. Three sides. Okay, our next shape is rectangle. Can you guys count with me? How many sides does a rectangle have? Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good. A rectangle has two small sides and two long sides. four sides in a rectangle. Let's write it down here. I'm gonna circle it. Okay, let's move up to the hexagon. Hexagon, let's count how many sides a hexagon has. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides to a hexagon. Now, have you ever seen a hexagon outside? Do you know what sign outside is a hexagon shaped? A stop sign. That's right. Maybe when, sometimes when you're driving with mama and daddy, you guys can see the stop sign outside and it's actually red just like this one. So six sides in a hexagon. Very good. Okay, the next shape is a trapezoid. Let's count how many sides a trapezoid has. Ready? One, two, three, four. 
four sides in a trapezoid. And the last shape is the rhombus, the diamond. Let's count how many shapes, sides, a diamond has. One, two, three, four. Four sides in a rhombus or diamond. Great job. Now, can anyone tell me which shape has the most sides? The hexagon, that's right. The hexagon has how many sides? Six. And can anyone tell me which shape has the least sides? Circle, because the circle has no sides. It's got no sides, just one big round circle. Okay, very good job, boys and girls. So I have a couple activities for you guys to do with using our shapes. I would like for you guys to stay inside or you guys can go outside and find things that are shaped like, okay? They could be a rock outside that's a shape like a circle or maybe even shaped like a square or maybe if you would find um, a, a branch that is a rectangle-like shaped. Okay, or even inside. Inside, I found a couple things that are shape like, and I found a cup. And what shape do you see in the cup? A circle. Very good. And I found a container where I keep my fruits in. It's a square. Very good. And also, my eraser for my board is what shape? A rectangle, okay? So there are shapes everywhere. If you just look really closely, you might find a shape outside and inside. Also, I would like for you guys to do is to make shape pictures using your shapes. And on the board, I have some shapes for you guys already, and I drew some up for you. As you can see, you see, uh, what is this? A train, that's right. And you'll see some shapes that I used to make my train. What shape do you see right here? A rectangle, and what shape did I use for the wheels? Circle. Now, boys and girls, if you need help, you know, making these shapes, I made these out of paper. So what I did, I was I just used my scissors and I cut them out. Is also I, I used my cup and I traced it on a piece of paper, just like this. And I just cut them out. All right, I used my scissors and I cut them out. And you can find things around your house. If you need a square or you need a rectangle, you can have your brothers and sisters help you cut these shapes out. So what I used for my train is I used a rectangle and I took my marker and I traced the rectangle, creating a train. And I decided to make a long train, so I took, I made two long rectangles, all right? And I also added two more wheels for my rectangles train. And for the conductor, I used a square for the conductor's window. And then as you see over here, what did I make over here? I made a flower for spring. Now I took a circle. Oh, I think I used a bigger circle. I have all different types of circles. What I did was I just found a small circle around my house and I found a medium sized circle and I traced that out and I cut that out too. So what I took, I took the circle and I took my brown marker and I traced it. I traced the circle, okay? And I held my shape down too. 
just like that. And I took my marker and I traced it. And sometimes you have to move your finger too to go around all the way. And make sure you take your time when you're doing this. Go nice and slow because sometimes when you do it too fast, the shape won't look like the shape you're trying to trace, okay? And then for the petals, I used a triangle. And you can use any color you want. I chose orange and I just went around and I traced it with my orange marker, just like that. And then for the stem, what shape did I use? That's right, I used a rectangle. And I just put my, my rectangle right there and I took my green marker and then I held my rectangle down and I traced it just like that. Let me just show you. Held it down and I just trace it. You okay? And then I wanted a longer stem so I went down one more and I added another rectangle. Okay, and then for the leaf, I took a triangle again, and I traced the triangle for the leaf. All right, and then my last picture I made is a, what is this? A robot, that's right. And I only used one shape for my robot. And what shape is that? A rectangle. Now I, I just used it for his head, for his body, his legs, and I made him dancing. He's a dancing robot. All right, and lastly, I'm going to give your parents a pattern, shape pattern worksheet that you guys are going to do. All right, so let's do the first one together. Circle, circle, triangle. Circle, circle, triangle. Circle, circle, what shape comes next? Triangle, awesome job. And then what else I'll be giving you guys is a subtraction paper. You guys can practice subtraction. And I also will be giving you an addition paper, turtle addition. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had lots of fun, and I hope you guys find lots of things that are shaped like, and you guys can show me in our Zoom um, on Friday. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.